Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays. In this video we're going to be looking at a new update that's just gone out by the big chuckster, Chucky Egg himself, Chucky, Chucky, Scrambled Egg Chucky. Everybody calls him the big chuckster. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. That's what I called him on the podcast last time we did it. Anyway, let's jump in. The big chuckster is bigging it up. He's put out the new May 2016 update. And what have they actually been doing? Well, it's quite exciting. That might give you a little hint of what, they, what they've been up to. Tip-tapping away all those little squaddy nerds with the glasses and the Lucas Aid. They've been tapping away, listening to the community, whinge and moan about what's coming out. And as soon as it comes out, the big juxta, he drops this bomb on us. And here we go, hot on the heels of version 6. And it's dedicated, they've been working on the Alpha, as you can see. They've started to work on vehicles. Yes, it's what we all wanted. It's what we've all been waiting for. In fact, tell a lie. I was actually waiting for the 50 cals, and now we've got the 50 cals, we kind of take it for granted. I really cannot wait for helicopters and vehicles and all this sort of stuff. And I had a sneaky look not so long ago, let's say, by accident, at some of the vehicles behind closed doors. And oh my god, they looked absolutely amazing. That's all I'm going to say at this point. But as you can see, they've actually started to get... He looks a little bit like a zombie. Um, but as you can see, they've actually started to work on some of the animations with the wheels and things like that. Uh, vehicles, it looks like, are going to be coming around version 7. And it looks like we've also got the Humvee, the M2, the M939 truck, Insurgent Technicals, the BTRs, the, the KTV, uh, the Urals. We've got quite a lot coming and as you can see let me just zoom this in a little bit more and blow that up doesn't that just look the absolute Jordans now Jordan is a topless anyway we'll get into that she's a topless model in Britain so what I'm saying is it looks like the tits look at that and I can tell you there's a little joystick in there but you'll see once you get in anyway brilliant look at these looks like we've got logistics this one looks like an um, infantry transport but of course we could probably get supplies in these as well don't know whether this is bulletproof glass or whether they're going to be, be able to hold back an rpg or the law rocket only time will tell that actually says a su supply truck down there actually and there's the ural very nice looks very plasticky but maybe that's what it is a plastic topalin topalin i don't know how you pronounce it but you know what i mean the plastic that overruns Look at that, fantastic, even with a little fan. I hope that uh, the sound guys, because they always do amazing stuff with Squad, I hope we get random sort of radio chatter and things like that, or even being able to listen to the Squad leaders and etc, etc, coming through really filtered, like it really does sound like it's coming through on the radio. Like a lot of, like I had on some of my videos over the top. Not taking away from the sound guys, but I just had those extra little bits in. So as you can see, brilliant. And I think we've already seen some of these in the game parked around, but obviously we haven't seen the weapon on top. And this looks like it's down at the Jensen range. So it's possibly going to be in there for us to have a little play around with, as it is with the other stuff in there. Yeah, BTR, very nice. Now, if you've been in the game for a while, you'll know that one of these is hidden in a certain map, buried. You can just see slightly a little bit of it just sticking out. So we've had a little sniff of these, but again, these things here are just going to absolutely change the gameplay for squad. You're really going to have to change your tactics, and especially with the RPG and the guys who are taking on the heavy rockets and stuff, they're probably going to be attacking infantry less and thinking more about taking out vehicles. Hopefully that will be the case, but as you can see, these just look brilliant. So it looks like there are going to be various skins. Whether those are founder skins, probably not. These are probably going to be on Fool's Road, this might be on Chora, etc, etc. And it looks like they've been crafting animations and effects and sound effects. And as you can see, they're starting to work out some of the keyframe in here. And obviously these may be areas that spin and empty, etc, etc. But yeah, really cool, as we can see down here. Starting to get some of these nice animations. So we get a little bit more head movement, but of course that's probably dependent on the camera in-game and you don't want it shaking all over. Does look a little bit strange for me, a little bit zombified. But then again, some of the characters do look bozo with big ears, don't they? Can't complain. Right, art department. Now, apartment blocks, they've started to put these in. They're going to be used in most of the Eastern European maps. And the first thing when I looked at this was... I can't remember the name of the map. Project Reality. There's a couple of maps in there where there are some sort of tower blocks right in the centre. I think it's the Russians versus the Militia. I may be wrong which map that is feels a little bit like fool's road i'm sure you guys know which one i'm talking about 
Uh, it's really quite a grim, dark level. Uh, and there was some of these in. Whether we'll be able to open these doors, be another cool feature, as long as we don't get into America's army with the <coughs> leaving them at a jar so that when an enemy has to open them, they have to close it and then open it again. I hope we don't get into that territory. But anyway, as you can see, nicey, nicey, nicey. A few textures here that they haven't quite got in for the washing machine, but who gives a damn about a washing machine when you can fight indoors? Another thing I hope they add is if we are going to fight in here, and especially in the in the tunnels, I wish there was wind blowing through. But when we get into areas like this, I hope the sound is is kind of exaggerated, has increased like 150%, a real sort of bang, you know, pop, as if you are fighting these weapons indoors. Something for you sound guys to be thinking about. Anyway, same sort of thing in here. Looks like we could be possibly fighting on the rooftops as well, with the air conditioning units up here. So, yeah. Liking it, guys. Liking it. And if I can take somebody out on the shitter, then, you know, double points for para. And we've also got some new weapons coming. Now, I I, I was hoping we were going to get an M1 Grand in. I don't know whether... I th I'm sure the Taliban have used them. Always my favourite weapon in, in the Battlefield games. I used to like the clip ching, when it used to pop out. Brilliant. Just an amazing sounding weapon. Very accurate. And it looks like we're getting the SKS, which is a Soviet semi-automatic carbine. 7.62 by 3.9 for all you gun pawn nerds out there. Uh, it's a 10 round stripper clip and it lacks the automatic firepower of the modern assault rifles, but it makes up for it in a higher muzzle velocity and better weapon stability. So I can tell you now that is going to be Mr. Para. That is exactly, I like that balaclava, I like the broken wrists, and I like the weapon. That's probably going to be one of my favourite weapons of all time. And if I can put the bayonet on and stick it in the back of someone's head, well, that's me gone. Right, as you can see, very nice. Nice wood stock. I like the, like the fact down here, it looks a little bit worn and torn. It's got a bit of a nice battle feel to it, so really I'm looking forward to that. We've also got the PPSH-41 submachine gun. It looks like these guys are saying that they've been working on it for a while, and the animation is at the last stage before we actually get it into the game. Now, I do like, I'm trying to think which weapon it is now. I apologize, guys. It's one of those days. I think it's the weapon, is it the AKM? That you get with the RPG, it's a close quarters weapon, which is one of my favourites. Not the best for long range, but th this sort of thing, especially in Fool's Road, clearing out the tunnels and things like that, and especially with these apartment blocks, just absolutely splattering brains all over walls. It's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to try this out. Full auto, pull the trigger, and forget, basically. As you can see, very nice indeed. Reminds me a little bit of the old Call of Duty. When Call of Duty was good, was it Call of Duty 2? Okay, or was it 1 when it was World War? Very good indeed. Now we've also got the T-33 pistol. Now I don't really get around to using the pistol very, very occasionally. If I am running around as, uh, is it the medic or possibly the sniper, I may move around buildings with the pistol out, but very occasionally do I actually get a kill with the pistol. I've also been working on a new map here. Pronounce that however you want. And I've got to say, it says it looks fabulous. And the big Chuckster, he wasn't lying, was he? Look at little Chucky Egg. He's really been doing well on this one. This looks really nice. And the first thing I thought was 50 cal bunker. 50 cal bunker. Entire map covered. Oh shit, what's this? It's a BTR. We're fucked. Let's run. Die. Medics run out. Get splatted. Cannot bloody wait. Dot com. Yeah, I mean, just look at this. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful, you just want to, you know, spread body parts all over and blood and gunshots and grenades and just ruin it and put, a, you know, some housing on it like they're doing around here. That's another topic. A green belt. And again, nice lake. You know, when I saw this on the, I thought, oh, give us a powerboat. Come on, Chuckster, give us a little rib that we can come down here with a, you know, 50 cal on, well not a 50 cal, but you know, get the saw gunner on the front, laying down on the side, you know what I'm talking about. Oh yes, very nice, trace of fire flying over, leaving a little bit of a rip kill. Beautiful. Uh, in fact, some of these, I really hope that the devs as well give us weather effects, you know, even rain coming down, or even wind. When I mean wind, I mean really sort of loud wind, you know, so you're having to shout on comms and things like that. Just make the environments feel a little bit more evolved if, if that makes sense or even on Chura I always wish there was like a slight sandstorm would come in I don't mean gimmicky I just mean occasionally or a bit of you know just something like that rain and weather modding community 
so it looks like the big Chuck still, he wants to show off a little bit of the work that's going on in the squad mod scene. With the launch of the soft SDK last month and the budding artists and modders have been busy tapping away, doing what they do best. Uh, the squad hub was created by Zeno, me bigging himself up and Mitsu back in late December. And I won't go through all that, but it looks like if we get down here, just look at what these guys have been creating. I mean, these just look brilliant. I mean, that one looks like an armor map. Uh, I forget the name of that one as well. Uh, really nice little tunnels, you know, firing up and down here and hiding in here. Yeah, I like these as well. Very, very nice. Really do think that looks very nice indeed. And I've just lost the page like a knob. Oh, let's go back. So, yeah, some really nice working. I mean, look at this. This could be, excuse me, an official map. You know, we could be in here fighting and whatever, and somebody's on the little rib just going around in circles here, feeding the ducks. This, again, looks like an absolutely fantastic map. Mark II grenade. Yeah, love it. The old pineapple grenades. Uh, I do wonder at some point if we play as the Germans, will we get the uh, the, the pineapple on a stick grenades? <laughs> I know all the names. I just call them pineapples. But yeah, very nice indeed. Uh, I also wondered as well if when we pull a grenade whether there should be an automatic audio, you know, grenade out, that sort of thing. You know, little sound clips to let people know around you that you're throwing a grenade might be. It's just an idea, just something I was thinking of. And again, very nice indeed, bunkers. This one reminds me of D-Day coming up on the boats. Possibly, I don't know whether that fits into the squad universe. But these, you know, a bit of Normandy in here. And this one, I, I'm, I'm feeling Vietnam. Oh my god. Somebody do a flamethrower. If any of the people out there in the modding community do a flamethrower. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has just been a little look at what the big chuckster has been chucking around. And he decided to put it out for you, for me, and all the people who love Squad. Let's jump back in to a current version and smash some heads in. Thanks for watching. I've been Paraplayers. And this has been the May 2016 update for Squad. See you in another video coming real soon. Bye-bye.